Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to tutorial from the solid calm. So this is our uh, second tutorial. And uh, in the first tutorial, we have seen the, the face milling, how to obtain the, the face milling in the solid calm. And uh, here, uh, the solid calm is already opened in my cases. And you see here, this is our the first operation is to be removed the, the, the surface of the, the 0 0.25 millimeter from the upper surface of the, from the this surface here in the operation there is the, the face milling all of the crates in our the cases also in the first tutorial we have seen how to create here the, the stock the target value and how to create a tool and so on so uh, let's remind quickly what we have done in the first tutorial so uh, you can uh, here go to the stock and the right click and uh, press the show and this is our the stock value or you can uh, double click to the, this this stock to see the, our the stock value so we define it our the stock as a box here and uh, here we define it our the stock value along the x and y values so can see from the this side. So we removed in the first tutorial this 0 0.25 millimeter from the Z direction. Also, we have the stock value on the other sides of the X and the Y direction in the positive and the negative direction here and here. Also from the this side. So is the two millimeters you see here we already defined this stock value and you can look on the first tutorial how to define these stock values i will close this one and now our the goal is to uh, remove this two millimeter the stocks on the on the outer side of the this our the prismatic element is the call it the, the the profile milling so here but uh, this is our the target so the, let's uh, close this one and uh, right click and show this is our the target element the final element and here double click the tool so in the first we use it, uh, this face mill let me I delete this one so we will create this one new so we use this tool this for the face milling operation so let's save it so this is our the face milling operation we created in the first tutorial i will the hide this one just now uh, next step is to create the, the the profile milling in order to do this as usual select here the operation right click and uh, select here from the add milling operation and from the list so we see the face milling now let's select the profile milling so if you select the profile milling, the, the profile operation, the menu will be obtained, uh, open it. And uh, as usual, step by step, we will start to define the, our, the, the operation, starting from the geometry, then we will create a tool, we will define the levels, technology, links, and so on. So let's define for the beginning the geometry. So it is selected. And in order to define the geometry here, select here the new. And uh, the, we have to define our the geometry. And uh, let's, I will check here. Here, the, this one should be the activated. And this one is also activated. And just uh, in this case, I will select, the, for example, any edge of the, this my element. So it will automatically the select will all the, the edges, the four edges, since here the, the, this one is two is activated or if it is not activated this one, we can uh, select uh, all the edges, the four the edges the manually step by step. In this case, it is automatically selected. I will select here the press yes. And you see this the four edges is selected. So uh, we would like to remove the, 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 the material which is outside of the, these edges. So this is our the boundary so the inner boundary we would like to remove the 
the outer side of the, these edges. I will now select it and I will press OK here. So geometry is defined. Now it's to create the tool. So let's select the tool from the, 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 the list. And here, select uh, this one, select. So we will not use this tool, which we already created for the face mill. We will create a new tool for this operation. So in order to do this, here the select this icon, add milling tool. So here there's some uh, list of the tools available for the operation. So since our the, uh, the operation is the profile milling and we will use the end mill, for the, this uh, profile milling with the, the flat nose, this one, the first one, I will select this one. And here the, we can define the, it is the dimensions of the, the our the tool, the, the, the diameter, the arbor diameter and so on. And uh, this the tool lengths and the other part parameters you can define by yourself. So according your the tool availability, now I will keep it as this one by default. And uh, here the, you can define other tool parameters like the, the feed weight, the speed weights, and the so on. And uh, this parameter is the respectively that's the related to the, the tool specification. And uh, for the tool, the manufacturers and so on, you can create the, the tool folders, the, the shape that the, you can define the coolant and so on. I will just skip off all of them and we will see the others, the operation, we will see the the, on the other tutorials, how to just uh, the, the, the select this kind of options. So in the number of the flows, you can define the, in this case, by default, I will keep it as a two mil two is the number of the T's. So now I just uh, press the select to the verified our the tool. So here, if you select here, double the, the, the so we created our tool. Now uh, let's uh, define the levels. So select here the levels. In this case, we have to define the upper level and lower level of our the workpiece. So in order to do this, select here the upper level. So, and select the our upper level of the, this face. So it's selected, this is the zero and just press okay. And uh, here the profile depths, select the profile depths. And uh, in this case, select the lower part of the, our, the lower depths of the, this element. It's the, the minus 10 millimeters. So the depths, that's okay. So we define it upper and the lower faces of the, our the element. So here the levels zero to the 10 millimeter. Now let's go to the technology. In the technology, what is the important? For the beginning to define the, the 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 tool side left side or the right side or the center so in order to check that this is the let's uh, select here the, for the very beginning the left side and the select here the geometry to see the the tool side and you see here tool side is on the this position but it is the the intersecting with the workpiece so we will not select the the left side so in this case select here the right side you see it is exactly on the outer side or you can select center so it is not also the the convenient way so we have to select the right side which is the exactly on the edge of the this so the element so in order to remove the, the outer part of the outer element so in this case keep at the right side in your the case it could be the maybe the left side you have to check this one, so it's the important how to locate your tool. In my case, it is the right side. So now I will press OK. So it is the change it to the right side. And the uh, next step is to define it is the depth per cut. So in this case, uh, here the activate the rough. And uh, here the step down, let's make it uh, one. Uh, we will see what is the meaning of the, this one. It's the step down, it's the, the, the the depths per cut, uh, for example, this is our the depths, 10 millimeter. It means that we will remove this 10 millimeter material every one millimeter in the depth. So it's 10 times. If you make here, the, for example, the two, 
it will be the, the every two millimeter and it will be the five times and so on. It is the depth per cut. So uh, you see here the illustration, this one, so depths. So let's make it one. And this one also the, the related, this parameter is also the related to the tool specification. And in the tool specification, the library, it will be given the, the maximum depth of the, the capability of the tool, which is the maximum depth. So it, it should be the taken from the table. So uh, next step is to define here the wall offset and floor offset. So it's the uh, uh, remaining materials after the machining operation. So it is the wall offset or can the floor offset or wall offset. So let's make it uh, zero in the wall offset and the full offset uh, floor offset in our two cases. So we will not remain any material. So we will make some finishing operation. So in the if you just uh, uh, write here the any value, for example, in the wall offset, after this operation, you have to make again the, the finishing operation in order to remove the, this one millimeter operation. So let's make it one uh, here, the zero. So this is the, the remaining material after the operation. So we define it, the, our the technology. Now let's define the, the link. The link is the, the operation where the, the tool the first the interact with the, the material. So first the, the engagement with the material. So in this case, we the important is the lead in and the lead out. So lead in is the, that's the first interaction of the, our the tool. So there is several options that uh, it could be the arc, normal tangent and point. You see here the the in the arc, this is the, the, the first interaction of this tool is the, with the material of the, our the work is in the arc position. If you select the normal, it will become it's the normal and so on. There is a several options. Now let's make it arc. And uh, our case also the lead out is the this. So is the this the the the, the retraction of the, our tool out of the this work so let's make it arc and here you can define the arc radius uh, and uh, by the values and so on so let's keep like this uh, you can define any values here and you can see and by the simulation when you can change the values so our the operation is ready for the uh, for the simulation in order to do this so let's hear the save and calculate to see our the tool pass now I press this one and we can see here the our the tool pass. So this is our the tool pass in the, in the profile milling. So the outer side of our the material is the, the machining. And here the, this is our the engagement point. The first engagement point is the lead out and lead in points. This is the in the technology that's in the link. Is the lead in this is the arc so this is the, you see this uh, the interaction is the arc point so this is this one and the, in the levels it's a 10 millimeter and the technology is the, the step down is the one millimeter so uh, it means that this distance is the every is the one millimeter and you can change these values by yourself anyway so in order to simulate this as usual select here the simulate and uh, here we can select it, uh, solid verify to see the our the result and uh, here you can define the animation speed less uh, lower part and uh, just press play so this is the, our the simulation you see the the profile milling is the tenet to removing the, the the outer the two millimeter overstock on the x and the y direction in the positive and negative direction and the depth is the depth is the one millimeter so they can close this one and uh, here can the uh, generate the g code for this in order to do this plus this one and uh, press ok and you see this uh, g code for this operation is the created and you can save it and uh, load to the other machine 
in order to just operate this operation so we can close this one now you see the, the in the operation this we created this the profile mailing so the first one is the face mailing you can uh, show it here so this is our the two operation the first one was the, the face mailing and this one is the, the profile menu we can uh, select the, the two both of them and uh, just right click here then the uh, simulate and again the solid verify just uh, press it this was the first one is the there was the face mailing now is the, the profile meaning our the two operation so let me show again here the first face mailing and the profile mailing so again the speed up operation so this was the, the first tutorial of the face mailing and the second tutorial is the profile mailing and step by step we will see the next tutorials that is the, this the pocket mailing and the next tutorial